Hey guys, it's Steve and today I'm just doing a fun little video where I'm going to show you that I was able to make some NFTs and drop them on the Wax blockchain. And the reason I did this is because I thought it would be kind of fun now that I made it past 1000 subscribers. I would give some of you a chance to support me, but you also would then get to own an NFT as opposed to asking for tips anymore or any of those type of things. It has been a really fun journey going from just making videos about Splinterlands, an NFT game that really got me into NFTs and crypto, to getting into DeFi and Tron that didn't work out so well, and then getting into DeFi on Binance Smart Chain, which has allowed me to really grow my channel and really reach out and talk to a lot of different projects and show people what I can do. And I've got a really good response from a lot of the teams I'm working with. So thank you very much. Uh, mostly the Seascape team who I recently did a video for. And that one's right here if you want to check it out showing you how to mint their NFTs. But today it's just going to kind of be talking a little bit about myself. You know, I'm uh, someone who got into crypto in 2017. Didn't really have the funds to get into it. Saw it go up to crazy numbers and then have just slowly been you know accumulating a little bit of crypto i really got into steam first which led me into getting into hive which really then got me into creating videos and once i was making the videos i thought hey why not make a youtube channel and the real goal of my channel was just to provide content to projects that i thought were good because I feel like anyone, everyone in crypto should be kind of trying to support crypto and pushing crypto out to the masses and trying to bring in new people. And I know that my channel has done that. I know that my overall journey in crypto has done that. I personally brought a few friends into the crypto world and I have hopefully will inspire some people to know that if you just start making this content, start making it with the idea that you're just going to be helping people out, you can grow a channel, you can start to get rewarded for doing that and it's just really a cool thing to see and i really hope to build a community that enjoys watching my videos interacting with me seeing the projects that i'm getting into i'm going to start doing some things let me know if you'd like to see a discord or a telecom telegram channel or if you're not really interested in those type of things because you just want to stay on youtube I'm also going to always be telling you about projects like Odyssey and like 3Speak and Hive and all the different social media platforms that are out there like Torum. And those are all just fun little places where you can do some of the similar things that you do on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. But you can start to be rewarded. And if you're into crypto, you're going to find a lot of other people that are into crypto on those sites. If you're not into crypto yet and you're watching this, that's pretty surprising. But you never know what's going to go on in this field, right? So we're at about the three minute mark. That was just kind of the intro. I'm going to have this video dropping at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And my NFTs are going to be dropping on Wax at 4.05. So right now, there's going to be a link in the description. You can go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to get to this drop page if you are interested in getting mint ones. Oh, well, this is the Wax Atomic interface. If you haven't used it before, it's very easy to get a Wax Cloud wallet. And as you can see, I've came here with pretty much nothing, got some free NFTs, started selling some of them, bought some cheap packs, started selling them. It's a very interesting world to be in because you can end up, you know, making a profit out of some of these things. And also there's just some really fun stuff over here to be looking at, right? But let's go ahead and get to my NFTs that are dropping. So as you can see, my collection is not verified or whitelisted yet. I am working on the whitelisted and I expect that to happen soon. As far as getting verified, I think I will need to continue to grow my YouTube channel. I will need to be able to sell some of these NFTs to some of you and then eventually I will get verified. If I do get my NFTs verified, I will owe a lot of that to you guys. And so I will be trying to build other functionality into these NFTs. I've already talked to you about how you can stake certain NFT projects on our planet. I've only seen bigger YouTubers than me be able to do that, but my channel's still growing. I'm continuing to make a lot of content. And if I get the opportunity to reward the people that support me early on, I will. I also plan to check who buys these and who has them and what they're doing with them. And every once in a while, I will be sending out little NFTs to you on the Wax blockchain. They probably won't be ones that are very valuable, but they'll be ones that I get that I think are kind of interesting or funny or might lead you into a good community, things like that. So if you're already 
here on the chain and you just want one more chance to own something that might get you a little something else into your wallet, then you can come and check these out. Now I've priced them very interestingly and I've made a couple slight variations. Some of them are just kind of general and some of them are not. I did work with an artist from Fiverr to create these, so I didn't do any of the art. He didn't ask me to add him into this. It was just a transactional thing, and it is maybe simpler art. I wasn't gonna pay thousands of dollars for one of the top artists yet. I really have to see if the community of my channel is interested in at all purchasing these or not before I really do that. And if you're not a fan of wax, I do plan to drop these on Binance Smart Chain once they have an interface that is really friendly for users to come and publish their NFTs. I might do it on Ethereum if any of you say I should, but it's really expensive there and I don't want to spend that money if nobody is planning on buying it over there. But I do know that that is the marketplace for more premium things and that would be interesting to do. And I do have a plan to do this on Cardano once Cardano gets their NFTs going. And that is a chain I will be doing projects about because I'm not somebody who is a, I'm only going to look at this chain. I am really going to go where chains are hot and working and projects are new and there's opportunities for us to get into stuff that will just make us money. I'm mostly into the passive income kind of side of crypto because the dream of all of us is to have enough cryptocurrency earning us money to not have to do anything else other than things that we want to do. So going over these here, I made a one-of-one -one crypto that I added some animations to and this is a basic same one as I have down below but it's got some like raining, I called it uh, raining wax. So it's kind of an idea that, you know, this is, you know, raining down on top of me. And this is going to be a one of one and it is a thousand dollars. This would only be for somebody that really, you know, maybe likes my channel, is doing well, wanted a fun way to support me. Well, you could own this NFT and you would be the only one on the Wax blockchain that can own it. And I will not issue this exact same block uh, NFT on any other blockchains because as you can see, it has the Wax logo. This would make no sense to try to sell on BCH. But I will have a one on one I sell on each chain that I do go ahead and offer my NFTs. So it, it'll be a pretty exclusive ch uh, card to have on the Wax blockchain, but it won't be my only one of one NFT. Then I have a couple 10 of 10s. These ones are really just my logo in image and it's called uh, you know, Steve 82's Top Fans. There's two opportunities to get one of these 10 of 10s. There's the blue team and uh, are, are the gray team shirt and the red team shirt. These are very similar, just they changed out the shirt color uh, so I could use different ones during different times and things like that and you're going to be able to pick these ones up for $20. So this would be somebody who is a big fan of the uh, channel, is willing to spend a little bit more money, maybe wants to give me a bigger uh, tip or bigger reward or just wants to hold one of the more uh, rare cards. Obviously, if I'm giving out free items to people holding them, if you hold one of the more rare cards, there's a better chance I'll give you something that has a little bit more value than say if you buy these next ones I'm going to go over. You're going to see this one on here twice because I made a little mistake on the drop. I'm going to be doing a video on how to do drops and how to issue NFTs when I make one more here in the future. That'll just be made for the strict purpose of showing you how to do it. I, want, I didn't want to do that on these ones because I was trying to do it right, not mess up. And I still messed up twice. So that's why I didn't try to make a video. It would have been too messy. But this one here is here and here. There's a total of 100. I accidentally did a drop and only put 10 instead of 100. So this drop has up to 90. So there's going to be 100 of this one. It's called the Wax Supporter um, Token. So it's it's basically it's the, the image from this one, but without the special thing. And it just shows that you're a fan of Wax, you're a fan of me. And so you might want to own the one that is kind of Wax themed. This one is priced at $5, so it's a little bit more but it's pretty reasonable. It's like buying me a beer or buying me a coffee, something like that. And you'll get to own it indefinitely since this is the wax themed one. I'll know you're a wax supporter, so I'll know you're probably gonna have a collection here on the chain and I'll be able to, you know, send you a few things every once in a while. Then the last one, this is called uh, this Steve Loves Wax. This one here with the red shirt and like the more simple wax logo, a little less detail. There's a thousand of these and these cost a dollar. So if you just wanted to come and check it out, you just wanted to own one, you can pick these up. They cost a dollar. I wouldn't expect that I'm going to send you stuff very often, but you never know. I might for the people who buy the first couple ones be like, hey, you came, you supported me. Thank you very much. That was really cool. 
So these are the uh, the cards. I'm going to go ahead and click on some of them now that we've gone over them so you can maybe see the art a little bit bigger. As you can see, this is the normal one. The artist did a pretty good job of making me look like me. I didn't want to try to make myself look like a superhero for my first NFTs. Oops, got to hit the back button one more time here. Get back to the drops page. I'll show you the uh, the one of one. As you can see, this is just a similar image, just with some animation that we added in. So it takes a little bit of an extra step, a little bit more work to create. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> see, and then um, as you can see, the logo ones, these ones don't have wax. So this is just kind of me for my channel. It's just a very simplistic NFT. I wasn't going for anything more than just letting you buy something to show that you're a fan of my channel, a fan of my videos, things like that. And I know I'm bouncing around. We'll show the regular wax one right here. And that'll be the last kind of one just to bring up. So if you decide to go ahead and buy these, it'd be pretty cool. Thank you very much if you check them out. I appreciate it a lot. And that is going to be the last of taking a look at my NFTs. Now, just going back to end it by taking another look at my channel, just saying thank you very much to everyone that's been subscribing. Anyone who's hitting the notification bells, that would be really cool too. If you're starting to watch my videos and you do like them, dropping a like will help me grow the channel. And if you do decide to purchase my NFTs, growing my channel gives me a better chance of being able to add some actual functionality and making some partnerships with some of the projects on the Wax blockchain. I will be looking to do that. I do talk to a couple other YouTubers that have done that before and help inspired me to at least try this out and go ahead and send it. And that's Crypto Stash and uh, Ken Bozak. They're both pretty famous on the Wax blockchain, have some pretty big connections and things like that. But at this point, my channel's still growing, still new. I'm not really going to be pushing anybody to help me do this yet, but we'll see where I get with this. And I'm going to go ahead and end it there. The video is a little bit, you know, just wrap it up and say thank you again. And make sure you check out my stuff as it comes out and have a good day, everyone. Bye.